Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Twitcher T Scored, and today I'm bringing you guys best class setups, episode number five. This time, I'm going to be showing you guys MW2. I don't really have that much play time on this game, but I still feel like I know what I think the best class setup is. So, I would say the best gun in this game is the FAMAS. Also, the uh, the M16 is pretty good in this game, and the ACR is all right. But I feel like the FAMAS in this game is so good. If you guys have never used the FAMAS in this game, it's not full auto like the one in Black Ops 1. It's a three-round burst gun, and it's way better than like the Type 95 in MW3. It's way better than like the M16 in MW3. It's so good for a three-round burst gun, and especially if your connection is really good, enemies will just die so fast. It's really good to use. I would say the best attachment for it is the uh, red dot sight. Also, extended mags is pretty good as well just because you get extra bullets. You don't really need a silencer in this game, in my opinion. And then uh, for camos, I don't really have the best camos unlocked, but I think that uh, uh, probably Urban or Red Tiger are the two coolest camos. And for secondary, everyone knows in MW2, the SPAS-12 is the best one to use. Grip seems like it would make sense because it makes your accuracy twice as good. But because it's just a shotgun, I don't really feel like the grip really helps you all that much. I would rather use the FMJ on the SPAS because you guys can see it just makes the damage a little bit higher. So that's what I usually use. And uh, for equipment, I use Semtex. Blast shield's kind of cool because it increases your like explosive resistance. It's kind of just like the blast shield perk from MW3, but uh, I'd rather use Semtex in this game. It's not the best, but I feel like it's okay. Uh, special grenade, I use stun grenade. It's basically just like the concussion from uh, every other game. And then perk 1, I'd say sleight of hand pro. It's just like the sleight of hand pro perk from Black Ops 1. It gives you faster reloading and faster aiming as well. So both those things are really good. And Scavenger Pro is good in this game as well because you can replenish grenades and everything just like Black Ops 1. But I feel like Sleight of Hand Pro is so helpful just because of the quicker reloading and aiming. I just feel like that's such a good perk to use. Uh, perk 2, uh, Stopping Power Pro is probably my favorite just because you get increased bullet damage. Uh, it's really helpful to kill enemies a lot quicker, and especially for this FAMAS because it's a 3 round burst gun. I think with stopping power, you can kill enemies sometimes with just one burst. So if all three of your bullets hit the enemies, they'll die just from one burst, which is awesome. It's such a good thing to have. Other really good perks would be Danger Close if you're going to go for like more Semtex and uh, you know explosives and stuff like that maybe if you have more claymores some Texas stuff like that danger close is really good But I really like stopping power in this game uh, Perk 3 some perks are really good like commando because there's no fall damage and you can knife guys from really far But I really like the scrambler perk because it's really unique It's only an mw2 and it jams all enemy radars when they're close to you and enemies will know that there's an enemy close to them because their radar will, well, will start to get jammed. But if they don't know where you are and you have like a UAV up, you can just sneak up on them and they won't really know where you're at. So I feel like Scrambler is a really good perk. And lastly, guys, for the Death Streak, it's not really important because, you know, it's just Death Streak. But uh, I feel like a Final Stand is probably the best. The only thing I don't really like about Final Stand is if you get shot into Final Stand and there's no enemies anywhere close to you, you can't really get any kills and then you just have to sit there until you die. So sometimes that wastes about 30 seconds of the game. Uh, Martyrdom is pretty good because you just drop a frag. Sometimes I've gotten like a double or triple kill before just off of the frag that I dropped. So that's pretty helpful sometimes, but I feel like Final Stand is probably the best. And that's my best class setup for MW2, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Peace out.